Hello and welcome to part 9 of my Mass Effect 3 playthrough. Uh, we are going to be... It, it, there is a part 2 to that mission that we just did in the last part. Like I said, I'm going to be bringing along Garrison Edie just because of the, the bonus to tech damage that Edie has. So yeah, we're doing the part 2 and we're locating the, the bomb. This time we'll be facing service forces, so, you know, it's good that I'm bringing an extra uh, person that can use overload. And, okay, let's... I think we still want you on this one, because it does the most damage. That makes sense to me. Can aim throw through smoke? That'll be handy for sure. I definitely want to equip that on a shepherd. Almost definitely. And yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then let's... Oops. I do. Oops. Helps aim through smoke. Okay, so that'll definitely help out when we're dealing with Cerberus people that we're going to be facing in this mission. And then let's go with that. Because I'm, I'm starting to get a little disappointed with cryo ammo. I don't know. It's good, but it's, I don't know. It's just not as good as it was in Mass Effect 2, it seems. I don't know. And I don't know if decoy... I'm not too impressed with decoy either, but whatever. Ooh, he's got a lot of stuff. Let's go with... Max this out first. And then... Oh. Let's go with that. And then, yeah, squad bonus, why not? I don't know if that does apply to me while I'm using a different type of ammo, but we'll s I don't know. I don't know what difficulty I'm playing on, but it doesn't seem to impact anything too greatly. somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Called Turian. it. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. They weren't trying to build right trust at the, at the time. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th platoon will cover your flight, Commander. How do they find out about the bomb? The Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. I feel like the Krogan would want to help disarm a bomb that could, you know, just kill them instantly. But, you know, I guess probably might. I don't know. Right, equip my ammo first. Keep your head down! explosions going on here. Well, there's that engineer back there. I gotta take him out super quick. I 
So there's this thing you can do with like these generators here, and I, I think you can like take them out to uh, weaken them, but if you can then reactivate it when you're in that position to take advantage of it. At least that's what I think is happening right now. That's why I took the time to do it. Oh, what is it getting worse? Gotta hurry. Oh, I could take my time here. Maybe not. doing that. We're in the process of moving. I don't think we're in a huge rush. Yeah. Oh, that's what... Okay. Taking out the generators takes out those like deployable covers basically. Oh, that didn't work. That's too bad. Ooh, those shields. Or that turret, rather, <laughs> that's not a shield at all. But those those do some damage. Remember that from that other mission with on the Grissom Academy, those those hurt. Oh why you have to be right there. Where's that engineer? Gotta take him out, because otherwise he'll just keep on putting up turrets again. Oh, that's all I have for ammo. That sucks. Just try and stop me. Okay. On we go. Is this a thing? Yeah, it is. Free money, take it. Like, like it, their actions there, I guess it does make sense because, like, Krogan were a threat to the galaxy at the time. But yeah. As I keep on saying, it's it's a little little shady, but you know, makes sense. Oh, don't actually! I I, I misclicked, and then she went. That's why she went way up there. Oh, they're... I didn't realize they're that close to blowing it up. Another pistol scope? I, I hate that that's a thing. I, I don't like that scope. I don't like the sound of that. 
Ha, they thought they could get away. No way, Jose. On my watch. Try to blow up a planet and then leave. Sorry, it's not happening. I'm not gonna let it, that happen. Is that the bomb? Even in all this, was, it must be that happening. The ground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. It must have been strategic. Almost there. Again, you guys don't just get to walk away from this. Oh, why does it still get to shoot me when I'm cloaked? It still knows where I am. for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. Hey, hey, I don't know what that means, but sounds good to me. We need to hurry. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosive. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just no make problem, bud. Ooh, that was quite the shot. Wow! Look out! Commander, focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Yeah, maybe not right now when they're sniping with such pinpoint accuracy. Nope. Did I say sniping or sni I feel like I said sniping, but I want to say clear? make sure that it's clear that I meant sniping. Watch that side. Garrus, watch here. Okay, it's coming from that side. Oh, gosh. The right side. At least it's very easy to tell where they're coming from. Ow. Ooh, at least they can still hit me. Dang it. Ha! What a shot. Switch weapons. Good shot, Garrus. Oh, you're not dead. There we go. Oh boy. That is going to be an issue. That thing down. Now.
This is what those sticky grenades are good for, for sure. Ooh. That was a big hit there, okay. What were you guys doing down there? I feel like that was a big old mistake, Garrus. Oh gosh. What is that? we have been doing. Oh, come on, you can do this. I wonder if that was 50 seconds already. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Sounds like that's a bad thing that that's happening. Oh, that's a very bad thing. I think he's going to pull a grunt and survive that. Commander, I've got radio shatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining server's troops. He should be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. But they complete their mission, I guess. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? You say. just asked. You just said. Sacrifice him more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Alrighty then. I guess I'll about cover it for this mission here. We'll just get our little debrief debriefing and probably have a moment with with his father, Primarch Victus here. We'll see what how he how he feels about it. I guess not immediately gotta talk to this guy first. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in, won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. It's been brewing for a while now. Between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Pack it out. Well, this seems like that was a relatively the short mission, but war with the Krogan. The genophage wasn't enough. You had to plant a bomb on my planet. The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey. 
We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. I guess for like a Krogan, a hundred, couple hundred years is is within their lifetime, so that's a, still a big deal. But for the Turians, that's that's not within their lifetime. Shepard, it's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander, it's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you make your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <clears throat> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. You could have probably had an easier time if they told the Krogan, like, hey, there's a bomb on your planet, we want to disarm it, can you help? I don't know. I guess bad de decisions are kind of what make uh, good stories in a way. He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Alrighty then. So uh, that'll about cover it for this part. Uh, let's let's check out my war assets here. So still not quite ready yet. You know, still not uh, don't have enough of an effective military strength. Got some new Turian stuff here. What is this? When did, when did I get this just now? Well, anyways. Oh, and also interestingly enough, the Rachni here, the Rachni workers, are actually like working with to make the crucible, the, the weapon that will like supposedly kill the Reapers. And so, yeah, they're working alongside humans just to build this weapon. And you, you wouldn't think they're good at building stuff, but no, they're good at building stuff apparently. But yeah, anyways, uh, that'll about cover it for this part here. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you again in the next one. See you later.